Hello Backers, important update from Folo Engine. Just want to let you know we are we are operational. The engine's running. We got it running last uh, yesterday and uh, it's not quite it's not up to speed yet. It's not at performance, but it's running. It's a significant milestone. We wanted to get this update out to you. We'll have more later. Uh, I've got a short clip and then a couple of the other improvements that we've made to date and what's left on the list to get done. Anyway, thanks for the continued support. Keep it coming, and uh, we're getting closer. Thanks again, and here's, uh, here's the video here of the engine running and the updates we've made to date. Thank you. He took all the weights off. He's just progressively okay. taking all okay. off. Now let's see what temperatures we have here. 383. And you want to get the other one? Yeah, let's get the other one. Eighty-seven. Yeah. All right, guys. You want to say a word or two, <laughs> Rebecca? Well, congratulations. Fitz. We're super delighted that we happen to be here on this auspicious occasion. Very good. <laughs> congratulations. We are have uh, we do have ice pack on there. What's that? Where's the champagne? Champagne? That we'll be sharing later. The biggest updates is the coal cylinder, which uh, we recast at about 60 pounds, increased the size of the foundry, as you know. And then we had our friends down at IIE Enterprises actually do the initial bore to know we had a nice round bore. And uh, then we honed it up, and uh, this is what it looks like uh, prior to being assembled into the engine. We did use the uh, wide pack foam on that. It's a little lower cost, but we still got good uh, good metal pour. In addition to that, we also did uh, recast the piston in aluminum. And you can see there's a hole down there to increase uh, help increase the surface area. We cast both with the hole and uh, without the hole solid to see which one we get better performance out of. Right now, we're using the the hole in the trial test, and we'll swap the other one out uh, in a while. Um, here you can see um, the the piston, uh, excuse me, the coal cylinder here, and then the the uh, displacer pipe is attached to it. It'll just show you a little bit of the the hole. And there's actually a reflection there on that. On our displacer, we added a small bearing uh, for it to help ride the uh, ride on in the cylinder, and this reduces some of the frictional pull on that. The displacer itself is made up of three components. It's made of uh, aluminum sheet metal that actually goes into the hot end, and then there's a fiber and foam glass uh, midsection, and then there's a lightweight foam uh, cold section. On each end of this displacer, there's a nipple to help increase the surface area going into both the hot and cold. In addition to the displacer, we did some work on the piston rings, and uh, this was kind of key is uh, we had to create an undercut and then dome the top so we'd get a good ceiling surface with the equipment we're using to develop those particular rings. Uh, here you can just see the engine assembled. We added, uh, we've got two temperature probes in here and a simplified uh, temperature readout. Okay, so what's left on the agenda? We do want to take another, another cut at the piston to uh, cylinder bore fit uh, with a new uh, piston ring. We want to lighten the piston a little bit. And then also uh, work a little bit on some of the uh, the flywheel balancing for the engine and see how we can get our uh, speed up to spec. Uh, we should have some uh, updates a little coming a little quicker at you now. Uh, once again, appreciate all the support. Keep it coming, and we'll see you uh, at the next update. We're getting close. Thank you.